Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Cat Engine Stand at Con Expo and there's some big news from Bill today. Bill, the big news is we have a brand new engine behind us here, the Cat 13Z. And this is significant. Why, Bill? Tell me why. Well, this is an engine that is really exciting, Peter. Go. This engine is going to be replacing three engines for three us. Three engines? Really making our product lineup much simpler. Yeah, yeah but delivering the performance that you come to expect from all three of those engines. And we're talking about our C13, yeah. our C15, and the lower end of our C18. Everything with a single turbo on it for the C18. C18 to C13, that's yep. five liters. That's five book. liters. How on earth can you go and have a product that is 13 liter and, and, and it does the job of an 18 liter build? Come on, what's been happening? Engineering magic, Peter, engineering <laughs> magic. Love it. Oh, we, you know, we put a lot of really good engineering into this. And yep. what we heard from our customers is they want a smaller power dense engine. Yeah. The engines that this is going to replace, these are 30 year old engines. Right. And so by using good modern engineering, working with our suppliers, listening to our customers, really understand the applications, we, we're confident that this is not only going to be able to replace those engines, but actually perform in many cases better than those engines will. I've seen some of the engines being built uh, recently in the factory and fundamentally, We've got a lot more sensors in there. We've got a lot more change that we've gone with stage five and then the after treatment that we That's see right. on the top. How have we been able to, to squish that down but then still get all the yeah. power? Yeah, well, one of the really neat things about this engine is it's going to be so much more efficient than the engines that it replaces. Right. That efficiency, you think about it, you know, if I'm not wasting that efficiency through friction, or through moving stuff around that doesn't need to be moved around, that becomes power that I can get out of the back of the engine. So efficiency becomes power. Right. So that's one thing that we've done. You know, another really important thing that we've done with this engine is using modern technologies on it. It has a modern state-of-the-art fuel injection system on it. Right. right. Modern turbocharger on it. And one of the really neat things, you kind of talked about it, how do we optimize this engine for our customers? Yep. Think about it, I mean, Caterpillar engines, they go into wheel loaders, they go into excavators, they go into track type tractors, they go into gen sets. I mean, yep. you think about it, if it's off highway, this engine's gonna go into it. How do we do that? One of the really neat things we have is something called advanced controls. Right. You talked about all our right. different sensors and things. Yep, yep. What advanced controls is gonna do is it's actually gonna know what the operator's doing. Right. And it's going to optimize internal to the engine inside our ECM. It's going to re-optimize the calibration maps to give us the optimal performance for that application. Right. So when we're talking about this, folks, really, really important. So when we're talking about an excavator, when we're talking about that excavator doing heavy work, yep. or when we're talking about that excavator doing light work, therefore the power differential is, is there. So therefore we don't want to be burning all that fuel when it's just doing general exactly. work. But yep. we do want to do the heavy lifting That's and right. have the power on demand. Yep. That's optimization there. When we've got a wheel loader, we want it to be traveling yep. properly. And Absolutely. We want it to be literally in the, in, in, the, in the dirt as it were, picking up, taking it up. Cycle times are really important. Yep. That's when you need the power. That's so right. what you're talking about is, is taking this engine but literally making it smart. Uh -huh. And therefore, it delivers that power. And with stage five, everything is much more focused on burning that fuel, Absolutely. optimizing yeah. that level. Burning it hot, as That's some, right. some people like to say. That's the difference then, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the efficiency is gonna to go towards those areas of the map where you need the efficiency. Yep. We're still gonna be completely emissions compliant, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're gonna re-optimize those maps to make sure that we're generating the optimal performance for that application. You think about a track type tractor, yep. you know, he could be just taking a really yeah, small yeah, layer yeah. of dirt off, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's going to be running the engine in a different way than the guy that's pushing a literally a mountain of dirt, which yeah, some yeah. of our big track type tractors can do. Yeah. So this engine's going to be smart enough, it'll re-optimize. If it says, oh, this guy's just kind of puttering along, just shaving the top of the dirt off, I'm going to optimize the engine in this way. Yeah. If I'm moving a mountain, hey, here's your power. Right on demand. I'm still yeah. gonna I'm still gonna optimize your efficiency, but you're gonna get the best performance you can out of this engine, regardless of the application, and not only the application, but but how they're actually using the machine in that application. And the good thing about it is, with all this sensor technology, with all of that integrated into the machine, we're talking about health of yeah. the of the engine. We That's right. We talk about 
that engine talking to us and saying what it's delivering, yeah. the fuel burn it's achieving, all of that data. I spoke to your colleagues earlier with the new Vision Link platform. Yeah, and so really cool. That engine there is going to be really crucial to the Vision Link platform that can have all that data. That's in, right. And therefore, people can see what happens. But OEMs, right? Uh -huh. When you're looking at the OEM manufacturers that use these engines yep. in their products, they're going to be able to make things smaller. This yeah. is smaller engine. It's going to be lighter. This engine is more powerful. Therefore, you're going to be able to say, well, hold on a bit. If I change the size of some of the internals and the way in which we work a machine, we're going to take weight out of that. Yeah. We're going to take everything out of that. And yeah. Well, it's going to be lighter. Yeah. It adds on savings. It's a virtuous all the time, cycle. Doesn't virtuous it? Virtuous cycle. Yeah, yeah. So how are the, the, the OEMs that you're working with, how are they reacted to this news today? Oh, they're so excited. You know, our OEMs are looking at this from a couple different perspectives. So yeah. some of them are really excited that because it's a smaller engine, like you said, they yeah, can yeah. make the machine smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them are excited because they're like, oh, smaller engine, I can haul more dirt. That's what I get paid to haul. Yeah. I don't get paid to haul an engine around, I get paid to haul dirt. Yeah. So our OEMs are super excited because they're going to be able to use the weight yeah. to their benefit. They're going to be able to use the space to their benefit. I mean, this is one of the messages we heard loud and clear. Give us power density. Yeah. You know, we love Caterpillar engines, but give us power density. We want a smaller, lighter engine that gives us more power. This one's delivering. So here we've got a power play by Caterpillar at Con Expo. Look, it's fantastic to see engineering really working hard Absolutely. for the customers. And the great thing about it is it's smaller and it's better. And Bill, We've got a good one here, haven't we? We do, Peter. Thank you Cheers. so much. Great to meet you.